Folks, it's just me again, your friendly neighborhood, Walter Shepherd. And uh, this particular little millennial tidbit begins 2,000 years ago, even before that, uh, when the prophet Joel was talking about the last days. And that was reiterated in the book of Acts 2.17 and onward, about how in the last days, the Lord is gonna pour out his spirit of prophecy on all flesh, even on his servants. Which means the non-believers are going to be getting um, visions and prophecies of the future, of times to come. How they interpret that is up to them. But they'll never be able to say that the Lord never showed them parts of the future. So anyway, this particular little uh, tidbit comes from the fact that in terms of that prophecy, I believe the last days began when Jesus ascended. Um, after his resurrection, he went up to heaven, and I believe it was that from that moment on that could be considered the last days. And as such, we know that there are people like uh, Nostradamus, uh, whether or not he was a believer, I have no idea, but he did get bits and pieces of the future. And then skip ahead a few more centuries to uh, all the other so called. Uh, prognosticators or um, prophets, modern day prophets, whatever you call them, whatever they're labeled as. Uh, then we get people like, um, oh, who could that, okay, Jules Verne, who saw bits and pieces of the future. He saw a rocket flight. And uh, we also had H.G. Wells in there. And we also get uh, George Orwell, uh, his book 1984. It's pretty much the uh, tribulation society and the control that they're going to have over the people manipulating the news and pretending there's wars here and there. And uh, then we get to the modern world, in which case we get people like, I'm going to say, both George Lucas and uh, Gene Roddenberry. Gene Roddenberry, I believe he saw bits and pieces of the future during the time after the thousand years of peace because I've mentioned in previous videos that during the thousand years of peace I believe we're going to be building a fleet of spaceships that are going to be exploring and mapping out the galaxy but the galaxy travel won't happen until after the thousand years of peace uh, I believe that we're confined to the solar system during the millennium because the uh, the greater cosmos out there, the rest of the galaxy and all the other galaxies, they're off limits right now because mankind can still um, bring the choice of sin. And sin, I believe, is not going to be spread throughout the galaxy. So again, with uh, Gene Roddenberry, I believe he saw the time where human beings, the regenerated human beings and the natural human beings, the version two as the version one, will be grow growing through the millennial reign of peace. When they get to taste the tree of life, they will become the version two, in which case they will be more than able to explore the galaxies. So I believe Gene Roddenberry saw uh, the time when mankind will be exploring the galaxy in ships, although he could only interpret those visions based on what he knew, and what he knew was a sinful man doing sinful things out in space, and that's not the way it's going to be in real life. And then we also get people like George Lucas, who saw a society in terms of a galactic society, going from one solar system to another solar system with all these different cultures, all these different spaceships, all these different life forms. I believe we will be doing the same thing too. And you regenerated servants with your regenerated uh, bodies and your nature and your new eternal nature, able to control the laws and forces of nature, you will be able to do the same things that the Jedi's do. And even more so, um, if I can use another form of modern day prophecy, all the superheroes that we see in, on TV and in the movies with all their various powers and whatnot, I believe 
that we'll be able to do the very same things too. Um, every single superhero power that you see, we also will be able to do. Uh, we can call up fire, control fire, uh, call up um, snow or fly or, or, uh, or move matter from one place to another. Everything, everything like that, we will be able to see. I believe all the, uh, the comic book writers and science fiction writers They've all got bits and pieces of, of, of the future. They could all see us in the times during the thousand years of peace and in the times after that. But they couldn't interpret the, the whole thing. They, they couldn't interpret it biblically because their mind is not on the Bible. The, 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 the Bible tells us that the uh, spirit of prophecy is subject to the prophet, which means whatever the prophet thinks of, that's what he will see, but he can only interpret it with what he knows. And... Uh, the non-Christians, they, uh, they don't know biblical godless ways. They know ways with guns and death and violence. And so that's how they interpret the prophecies that uh, they've been given. But it's not going to be that way in real life. So we'll just see what happens. So just know that uh, one day you're going to have all the abilities of, um, of superheroes. And uh, they will come out during the thousand years of peace. And the battery died. But the whole point is that um, the Lord is going to be giving us um, a lot more gifts. Gifts that are totally beyond our comprehension right now. And he will show us um, exactly how to uh, to do those things that, that we see in all these um, uh, science fiction and fantasy movies. All these superhero things. Um, Jesus will show us exactly um, how he was able to uh, walk on water. take a, Take a liquid and then turn the molecules and the atoms and the quantum nature of water, turn it into a solid as you step on it. He can show us how to create something out of nothing, like he did with the fish and the loaves. Uh, or he can show us how to uh, change the atomic structure of simple little water and turn it into a nice refreshing drink. And uh, he's going to be showing us a whole lot more that um, right now is unbelievable to our eyes. And if we could look into the future during the thousand years of peace and all the powers that we'll have, we will say that we're superheroes <laughs> and things like that. So um, something else to look forward to during the coming time in the thousand years of peace. So uh, stay patient. Jesus will be here sooner rather than later. Um, just just hang in there, people. Um, be the wise virgins, the five wise virgins, and um, just keep your oils lamp and the wicks trimmed because Jesus will be here soon. Okay, um, that's it. We shall talk to you later. Be a blessing wherever you are in Internet land and YouTube world. Uh, take care, stay in prayer. We'll see you in Jesus' kingdom somewhere over there. And I know we're going to see a lot of you somewhere up in the air. Okay, um, I guess that's it. <laughs> Jesus rules. Thank <laughs> you.